we're learning about a new thing this week. So to get you ready, we're gonna practice doing some exercises. So reach high and then touch your toes. Now reach high and do a jumping jack. Yes, good job, freeze. Now put out your toe and touch your toes. Good work. Our last one, you know I love to do this one. Let's squat down, one, two. Now, you might be wondering, what is Ms. Chapman doing? You'll find out here in a second. This week, we are learning all about how our body moves. So we'll be reading some stories, um, talking about some pictures, and all of them will be about that idea of how our body moves. Let's go ahead and read our story, Rabbit and Coyote Race. And this is a Pueblo tale. So if a rabbit and coyote raced, who do you think would win? Do you think the rabbit would win or the coyote? Long ago, rabbit was sitting near a large cactus plant in the hot desert. When coyote came running by, coyote stopped and he greeted rabbit. Hello, he said, what are you doing? I was thinking about how fast you can run, replied Rabbit. I was also thinking that I can move just as fast by hopping. That's not true, said Coyote angrily. I can move faster than any animal in the land. In fact, I am the best at every physical activity. Then let's have a race, said Rabbit. You can run and I will hop and we will find out who is faster. I like that idea, exclaimed Coyote. And I, and to make the race even more exciting, the winner gets to eat the loser. I hope you had fun today getting a nice little workout with Miss Chapman and continue to think about ways that your body moves all throughout the day. We move our body a lot and it's good for our bodies to do so. So continue moving that body.